Kings hosting the Knights, and I have the Knights at minus 105. On the money line, I have the Kings at minus 115, and the over-under at six goals. Shop around for the puck line, though, because I've seen some casinos have the Knights getting goals, and some casinos have the Kings getting goals. So the particular casino that I use, the Knights are the favorite, and laying a goal and a half, they are plus 222. And I have the Kings getting a goal and a half at minus 278. Now I have seen the flip side where the Knights getting a goal and a half are minus 270, and the Kings laying a goal and a half are plus 215. So as I said, use a site like Vegas Insider, shop around depending upon what side you want. The Knights have won their last two games. The Kings have lost the last game that they played. The Knights are 18 and 18 against the spread. The under is 18 and 15 in the games in which they played in, and they are excellent on the road. They are 14, 2, and 1 on the road this season. The Kings are 19 and 18 against the spread. The over is 19 and 16 in the games in which they played in, and they are 10, 5, and 2 at home this season. Head to head. Excuse me. The Knights are on a two-game winning streak. The Knights are six and four against the Kings in their last ten meetings. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The team getting or laying goals is five and five in their last ten. There have been two one-goal games in their last ten meetings, including one in the last three games that they've played against each other. The over has hit in their last eight games. The over is eight and two in their last ten meetings. The over six specifically is 5-3-2, and two, and the road team is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The last game that they played, the Knights won 4-3 on the road. The game before that, the Knights won 5-1 at home. The game before that, the Kings won 4-3 in overtime, and the game before that, the Knights won 6-3. Three out of the last four have belonged to the Knights, and two out of the last four have been one-goal games. So this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to take the Knights with the money line. I like the casino where the Knights are the underdog, so I'm going to take that with the, the Knights getting goals, and I'm going to go over in this game, and if I had to pick a team where the Knights were not getting goals and they were laying goals, then I'd probably lean with the Kings and hope for another one-goal game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.